All right, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Dauntless. It's, uh... Hello, fellow slayers. Oh, let's skip that. Oh no, hi. Okay, cool, I don't have to see that again. Yeah, I don't need, uh, I don't need an intro from the, uh, developers. You guys are great. I... I love you guys for making this game, but at the same time, I got... I got games to play, I got Dauntless to play, so let's... Let's pick a character. So we, uh, apparently this does the GTA thing where we get to be a crossbreed of two people. So... Against all odds, I think we're going to be a crossbreed between Mutton Chop and Basilisk, but really we're just Mutton Chop. Let's be a little bit tan. Yeah, no, we want to we, we wanna be a guy that's seen some sun? I mean... Wow, they actually... I want to say this is one of the games that gets um, darker skin tones better-ish. Usually they just make you, like, uniform brown, but this gets, like, some really nice shading in there. The, the shaders for this game is really nice. Okay, so let's change our body type. Oh, oh, I assume that's female and not, maybe? <laughs> I like how we're like, puny man, top, <laughs> top heavy. All right, let's, let's mess with this some more. So hair, what kind of hair color do we got? Let's go with uh, pure white. I'm going to be, I'll figure it out in a second. So what do we got? Bald, undercut, tetsu Tetsuo. Ponytail, spiky. I guess I should probably screw around a bit. I really hope they add more options than just this. Uh, well, I I guess barring all other options, Tetsuo. Just because, please tell me there's like a beard. There's got to be a beard here, right? Extras? Mouth. Jaw. Ears. Well, apparently beards are non-existent so far. So I guess we're going to be bald. Bald is the day we were, well, not quite born, but that's okay. Anyway, so let's, let's see. So this is outer iris. Oh, this is fancy and completely useless considering how often are you going to see my face. So let's be, well, you know, this is actually one of the few games that's going to be able to uh, capture my proper eye color, sort of. I, I've got sort of heterochromia, so I might as well make, uh, well, this, is, this ain't going to be me. Can tell you that that much. So let's be uh, let's be this and nose tip position, nose size, nose bridge width, nose height, meh, nose bridge depth. Let's just make a cartoon character. I mean, that's usually my my uh, my work here. I was I always make just the the most cartoony, non-functional guy ever. Eye depth, eye position. Bring him up, eye brows, gotta make him big, eye rotation. Gotta make him kind of angry-ish looking. Space him out because he's thuggish. I mean, this is a guy that hits stuff and gets hit for a living. So his, his, his goal is to be as, uh, as jaw-tastic as possible. Mouth position, up, mouth size, small. Lip thickness, none. This is a man that cares nothing for jokes, or humor, or even the fact that he's a, a silly cartoon character. <laughs> oh, man. Do I get a name? Do I get to name him? Or have I just lost it, or is it just going to be Wander... Uh, I'm worried about that. I didn't- I didn't see the ability to name a character there. Alright, whatever. Yeah, so, uh, what's Dauntless? Dauntless is a, uh, it's Monster Hunter, kind of. It's made by an indie studio, uh, made by a bunch of guys that love- love Monster Hunter, and they decided, screw it, let's make our- let's make our own. And so they did, and it's actually really pretty. This is also the Extreme Closed Alpha, so... Oh, not Extreme Closed Alpha, this is the first they've lifted the NDA. So technically you can get access to this now, it's a bit costly. Um, but, so I, I feel like I should make mention at the very least. So this is a, uh, this is a super early access version, uh, most people don't have access to it yet. So we're gonna run into some bugs, things are gonna look a little bit crappy, you know, so on and so forth. Uh, but the monsters and the fighting look to be tight, so that's perfect. So, hello, Slayer. Our world's under attack by a fer by a ferocious beast known as Behemoth. You play an aspiring Slayer tasked with protecting humanity against the Behemoth threat. 
As part of your training, you will now face the behemoth known as Nasher. Slay the beast and report your progress back to the city of Ramsgate. Either mouse and keyboard or gameplay uh, gamepad controls can be used. Press tab to switch. Gotcha. All right. Uh, let's see. Can I switch equipment here? J journal, character, banner, emotes. Oh, I guess I'm just Wanderbot. That's awesome. All right. No, it's not journal. That's for quests. Uh, well, I can pull my weapon out. I can hit my... Huh. I have magic farts. Well, I don't know how to play this. I, I technically did play the closed alpha for a little bit and uh, and got some bonuses, but since I'm not... Uh, okay, that's how I run. Since I'm not the kind of person that plays stuff when it has an NDA, I was like, eh, whatever. I'll just come back to this when I actually can film it. So here we are. So there's our Nasher. Let's go fight him. I feel like one of those hype guys. You know, the people they put in front of the camera at EA that's probably actually pre-recorded footage and I'm like, there's the Nasher. Nasher, let's do this. Uh, I do not remember how to play it all. Can I check? It's select, right? Okay, I'm just gonna press this and run around this guy for a moment. So, XXX, Elemental Blast, Overdrive, Sheath, Unsheath. Is there a way to switch weapons pretty quickly? The answer is no. Ow, he, he hit me. Little sucker hit me. So there's no, um, there's not, no auto-aim on this. There's no auto-aim on, on this, so where I've positioned myself is where I'm going to be uh, hitting. There is there is dodge rolls. It's a little bit uh, snappier than Monster Hunter, in my opinion, which is good, because as much as I like Monster Hunter, uh, it's a maybe a little bit slow for me. I'm really looking forward to uh, Monster Hunter World, seeing as people are inevitably going to ask me about that. I'm hoping to play both this and Monster Hunter World. Ow. I thought I'd, I thought I'd roll well out of the way. Yeah, I will be playing both in large quantities, honestly. Oh. If you do enough damage to this guy, you'll actually, uh, you'll actually stun them. As far as I can tell, uh, there is progressive damage. There's no health bar for this guy. Um, but you can see the damage stack up on the enemy. Uh, and I think you can break parts off. It's something to tell, but, uh, depending on where you hit, I think you can stun them more often. Or maybe you just hit them enough and they'll just start folding on you. I don't know. But yeah, if you do enough, you can... Oh! I straight up knocked it off. Can I do anything to this? I didn't know I could take this guy's tail off. I fought this guy several times because it uh, crashed on me during the closed alpha. Uh, but it looks like... Uh, it looks like he... Nasher. Very much white meat. Is he like a lizard? I don't know. It, it... I'm kind of glad that there's no like blood and stuff, but it's... It's weirdly clinical how that piece is just plopped off. Oh well. I'm just I'm just happy that I might be able to get some rare materials from all this. Now, as usual when I'm I'm playing something that people can join me with. Uh, if you see me online and I'm not recording with other people, I am more more than happy to uh, to adventure with people as long as you're not like wildly overpowered. Oh, that's a new one. I haven't seen that before. And he's dead. I probably should have used my elemental move. I guess I'll use it now. I can I can do sword farts. Awesome. I don't think I can actually like gather stuff from this guy after the fact. But we get a severed crest, tarnished tooth, behemoth hide, and a broken slapper. So that's probably his thing. There's also like raw resources you can grab. I don't know if you can harvest the like ether vents or whatever they're called. But there we go. So the indomitable chin wins the day, I guess. I am the damaged. <laughs> God, I love that face. All right. So yeah, if you guys see me online and you aren't, like, significantly farther than I am in the game, uh, feel free to join up. Because uh, I think this is going to be one of those that's inherently multiplayer. And we got a rare Aether Core style core co I don't know. I don't know what any of this stuff is. I hope they fix this UI soon, because it's that is very much just programmer UI. Oh, I should probably get my mouse out of here. I'm sorry. I don't know if that was actually visible during gameplay. I'm just so used to tuning out what it, wherever the mouse cursor is. I do hope this game lets me adventure solo for the most part. I don't really want to play with randos. Okay, meet the bosun. This is Ramsgate, the tip of the spear 
In the battle against the behemoths, here you will meet other players, prepare for hunts, and explore a variety of quests and stories. Begin your first quest by speaking to Bozen Marcus Boer. Look for a character with a question mark over their head. He will be waiting you at, at Ramsgate Plaza. If you see a character with an exclamation mark point over their head, that means they have a new quest for you. If you get lost, look at the compass. Yeah. Alright. It's easy enough. Am I alone here? Yeah, I guess there are other players who look way nicer than I do. Do they have... Uh, can I check my inventory? Does everybody have, like, uh, Founder's Armor? Let's see. Uh, borrowed Greaves, Borrowed Greaves. Uh, let's see, do we, have a, do we have a weapon I can switch to? Swords, Chain Blades, coming soon. Axes, Hammer. Let's, let's go Axes. I tried, uh, Chain Swords in the past, but I think... Let's go, let's go big. Oh yeah, that's, that's, that's big enough. Overcompensation all the time. Hold E? What's up, there we go. Alright, oof. Frame rate gets a little chuggy around here. Alright, uh, Quartermaster, yeah, quest. New quest. Welcome back to Solid Ground, Recruit. You'll be a Slayer soon enough. For now, you better check with Cat. Speak with, uh, Katarin Sorrel. Check your journal or around for quests. One thing I'm a little bit, uh, I'd say worried about, I don't actually know if this is going to be a thing or not, but, uh, I don't know. Actually, looks like, uh, progress might have? No. I don't know if progress has been carried over, necessarily. I'm just noticing some people already have, like, some snazzy sets of armor. Uh, so there's a very real possibility progress either carried over or, like, some of these guys might be, um... Might have, like, had access earlier than me. I asked for a press copy, but they never sent me one, which made me sad. But whatever. Anyway. What's the word? Redeem. Alright, I'm not a stranger. What quest do you have for me? Oh, want? I see. Redeem. Nice work. You beat an Aether-starved rogue Nasher, and you did it on your own. But remember, recruit, Slayers work best as a team. You've been training hard, and your weapons show it. Head to the Weaponsmith. He'll upgrade them uh, for you as a favor for me. Speak to Weaponsmith Wills Borman. I'll leave you to it. Well, I guess let's go. Hope they add some like city music. I love the setting for the. Okay, that was weird. I hope they have some uh, some music for like being in town, just birds. I don't know, but yeah, the uh, the entire point of this is like the world is mostly just these like floating islands and stuff. I'd have always loved floating islands, sky islands, as like a, as a thing. Greetings, Slayer. So, what do you got? Recruit, a pleasure to see you, but I cannot say the same about those poor battered weapons. My friend, your weapons have seen some use. Let's give them some attention, improve the balance, sharpen the edges. I can definitely give these an upgrade. Enter the crafting interface to upgrade at least one weapon. Buh, uh, hi, person. Stay okay, so alive, check your journal. Slayer. So we gotta talk to this guy, go to crafting. All right, so we can give five power to everything. Interesting that everything does about the same power. Hope they have more weapons than just these four. Well, uh, I've got the ability. Let's upgrade. Let's upgrade. Uh, upgrade the axe. All right, two iron ore, one eighth glass, and then the weapon itself. So it looks like it can actually upgrade everything. So I'll upgrade the sword since it's reliable. And we'll upgrade the the chain chain blades too. I don't think I can. I don't know if I can upgrade my armor, but I'll leave that for later. I don't take too many hits. But right now, these things should be pretty easy. Okay, cool. So now what? Oh, we go back and talk to him. Greetings, Slayer. Quests redeem. Not true Ostian craft, but I did my best to improve the this crude metalwork. It'll do until we can forge you some new weapons. You may want to try other weapons you possess to test their effectiveness and use. I'd recommend you try them on a target such as a rogue, rogue Nasher. Now your weapons far outshine your battered armor recruit. Have you spoken with our friend the Armorsmith about that? Speak with Armorsmith M Moira Hegskatter. Stay alive, Slayer. Okay, and she is somewhere over. Ah, she's over here. A fine day to you. Okay, quests. Well, look at what the Nasher dragged in. I say the based on the two marks on your armor. But I can do uh, something about that. Cat's a family friend. How about I upgrade that armor of yours on the house? Enter the crafting interface to upgrade at least one piece of armor. 
Yeah, so basic tutorial nonsense. Uh, Take care, unfortunately, I have to like get out of the menu to upgrade this stuff, so I don't have a hat, and it looks like it can upgrade all of my armor. Well, I might as well. We'll probably be replacing it soon, but actually, look at those shoes. I could probably kick a man and destroy something. Same thing with the gloves. I, I, I feel like there should almost be like a fist fighter set up for this game. Oh, well. But yeah, I don't know how long I'm going to be rolling with this stuff, so we might as well upgrade what we got and then talk to her again. Quests. Now that that ought to last more than a few minutes in hired combat against a full strength behemoth. If you survive, I think we'll be talking again soon. The bosun set word in the meantime. He needs to talk to you before your next hunt. Speak to Marcus Bower. Get them before they get you. Yeah, this is definitely uh, what I want to say one of the rougher alphas. I mean, it really depends on uh, the combat. So far, the monsters seem like they're they're solid, but I really hope they they update the quest and town interaction so it's a little bit more interesting. Oof, a little chuggy here. I don't know how their servers are holding up. I guess it doesn't seem like it's the most uh, the busiest of alpha releases. So. I don't know. Anyway, new quest. Hey, recruit, things are about to get more dangerous. I've been holding onto this item for you. This is a revive talisman. These are for emergencies only. Use this to recover when knocked out. It will restore a large portion of your health as well. Use it wisely. Some rookies go through these like they're candy. Okay. If you use it, I'll need ingredients to make more for you. Once you become a slayer, I can help you craft other exist elixirs and useful gear. Speaking of which, Cat needs to speak with you when keep her waiting. Alright, so first and foremost, loadout. We might as well do... Okay, it looks like it can only equip one at a time. But I guess I can pick myself up if I need to. Not in the mood, rookie. Hey there, okay. <laughs> Her mood changes at the drop of a hat. Nashers are all too common around Ramsgate, but the Shrike population is booming too. You're ready to take on something with wings, and you should be able to handle a rogue, I think. Hunter Rogue Shrike. See you around. I think we go to this. Okay, so we can go after a Rogue Nasher, Rogue Hunt. Can I solo hunt? Okay. Uh. Yeah, I'll do a solo hunt. I should be fine. It's not letting me. Is it, is it going? Am I in the queue? Is it broken? Uh, this is concerning. Well, let's see if I can go up against a rogue Nasher. Maybe I have to click on it. Ah. Wait, I left. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I got to click on it. Looks like the, um. Looks like the uh, controller controls are maybe a little bit on the uh, needs work side of things. Well, let's go after a, a rogue Nash here for the time being. Might as well test out this axe while we're here. I was kind of hoping I could skip this cutscene. But that's okay. Hopefully eventually I'll be able to do it, though I guess this is how we load. Man, I picked the right face for this. I wish I could, like, bulk up the body a little bit more. Oh, well. Anyway, a, glutz, uh, glutz. a good slayer comes prepared for battle, carelessly attacking or standing still is a fast path to an early grave. Press tab or back on the gamepad to see a breakdown of controls. When a behemoth unleashes an attack, avoid it with dodge. If you take damage, you can trick a health potion. If a hunting party takes too much damage, suffers knockouts, or prolongs the fight too long, they'll raise their danger. In the top left corner, you'll see a number representing your danger level. This hits 100. The Slayers have one last chance to complete a mission before their airship crew scrubs the hunt and pulls them out. Interesting. And it looks like I've... Um... Oh! I see why I wasn't able to do it. For whatever reason, my controller has forgotten that it's connected. That's confusing. Well, keyboard and mouse it is. Uh, how do I do it again? Shoot. Okay, shift to run, left click to attack, right click for elemental, probably. Yeah, alright, I'll be fine. It's probably a good idea that I run this with a rogue Nasher first. Just so I know what I'm doing. So this is, uh, this is kind of what the game play is standard gonna be. You're not always gonna know where your en enemies are gonna be. I destroyed that thing. 
We got Aether Hide. Yeah, we might as well pick up some materials while we're here. Oh. Huh. My accuracy leaves many things to be desired. Oh. Yeah, you really can charge up both. I should probably go for a faster attacking weapon than this. Come on! How hard is it to murder one goat thing? Oh. They're getting punchy. Wait, you didn't die? Huh. I might just be able to bully them. I might not actually be able to kill goats. Alright, well, anyway, we've got a uh, little bit of mining to do. It doesn't look like I've got gathering tools to worry about, so as long as we just go and find it, we'll be okay. Oh, this works. Yeah, I don't know how much iron ore I'm going to need for anything. I don't know how many supplies of anything I'm going to need. I guess once we start killing the Shrike, we'll probably have a better idea of what specifically I need to do. I wonder if I can just pull out. Oh, my danger level is going up slowly but surely. So it's at like five now. And there's also stuff like aether wisps, hides. I think you can gather certain plants, so I'm not sure which. Now, do I have the alpha tester? No, I just got the regular thing on. I do not know what that leaf means. Probably that there's something worth gathering over there. Eh, well, let's go check it out. I mean, this is. This is time for me to explore, understand, learn, so on and so forth, and hopefully make people not mad at me for screwing up on my first couple hunts because I apparently don't know how to play this game. Um. Is that... I have no idea. I don't know. It might be my flare? It might have to do with my flare. It's the only thing I can think of. Alright, well, I guess let's, uh... I'd say let's try and focus on finding this, this Nasher, but... I don't know. Unfortunately, it seems like they might only have a couple of islands available in this game right now. I've been here before. In the Alpha. Hopefully it's just, uh, bad luck. But... You never know, what is this? I mean, it's lava, I guess. It's a Deonite Catalyst. Aether Flux and Aether Flux. No idea what any of this stuff does. But I'm sure it's gonna be one of those where eventually I'm like, Oh, I need like half a billion of this or that's. And then we'll have to go out and farm them. So I might as well just like preemptively grab everything. Just because. What if I can preemptively pull out and keep all my materials? Oh. Still gone. Can I? If I sign out, no. It looks like uh, to leave. To leave, I really have to uh, kill the thing. Well, I guess it makes sense. I, I feel like oh, airship fuel remaining. Twenty-five minutes. So we are timed for a whole bunch of reasons. We got hematite and iron. Which one's... No, I don't know. I, I don't know anything about geology. If I play this with Keith, he can inform me on how how metals work. Yeah, I might as well grab stuff while we look around. We're looking we're looking just for another... Aha! Well, do we take falling damage? This might hurt. Nope! Falling damage is not a thing in this game. Awesome! And let's go... Let's go bully this guy with a slower weapon this time. Okay, let's see if I can stun him first. Because if I can stun him, I can get around to that tail. I mean, the other thing is, I don't really care too much about... I don't care too much about whether or not I hit this guy that, that much. 
Or hit this guy, break break his tail. As long as I don't run through my health, but ow. Yeah, I think I might go back with a sword. I feel like the axe is something that's going to work better for me. Especially when I have a controller, because apparently, um... Okay. Did I get him? Yeah, I got him. I'm not sure if it's really worth it doing charge attacks here. There we go. There goes the tail. He does not seem particularly perturbed about the fact that I, uh... Can I? Nope. He does not seem perturbed about the fact that I, I whopped his tail off. You'd think that would, like... That would really, like, bother a critter, but... I, I guess this guy is just made of incredibly stern stuff. That was cool. Yeah, I gotta I gotta learn the proper combos here. All right. Well, we've got him very obviously on the ropes. So I think I might join a uh, I might join like a a group fight after this. Oh, is he dead? He's dead. Cool. Eventually, I might just farm these things just for the sake of... Well, that's okay. Well, we got a heck of a lot more this time around, but then again, I guess I was harvesting. So yeah, we'll do a, we'll do a group mission with some people. We'll go fight the Shrike. Uh, let's see. Is my controller able to reconnect, or is it just Bupkiss for right now? Yeah, it looks like my controller is done for. Alright, whatever. Oh, I'm only rank B. I guess I got hit more often. So I think I will stick with the sword, uh, the sword or the um, the chain chain whip right now. Later on, I might switch to other things, but uh, for the moment, I just can't handle slow particularly well. Yeah, we'll figure out what the rest of these things do later. Yeah, I don't want to end this episode off just fighting two Nashers. That's there's just something not exciting about that. Yeah, Shrike shouldn't take too long. Because, yeah, I, I want to show this game off. I want I want this to be a, a fun thing that people check out. Because, I will admit, uh, Early Access and Alphas always scare me a little bit. But uh, this is one of those games where I, I want it to actually succeed because shit's cool. Monster Hunter games, there need to be more of them. So let's do a Rogue Shrike group hunt. Who knows? Worst comes to worst, it'll send me off on a solo one. Let's do Loadout. Switch my axe out for... Let's just do a regular sword. Actually, let's do chain blades. Let's let's show them off. Maybe someday I'll do hammer. Serathalos, of course. And yeah, there's some nice looking equipment. Maybe stuff does carry over. Um, and it just had me redo the tutorial. I really don't know. I, I really, really hope they don't, um, they don't wipe progress between missions, because they're, uh, well, not missions, uh, between alphas. I don't think they're going to do that. Uh, at the same time, I do hope that if they ever add more character customization, they, they let us at least make our characters look nicer, because, I mean, I want facial hair. So supposedly I'm in a mission already, uh, I'm queued up, but, don't know. Uh, I guess while we wait, let's go see the blacksmith. I don't know how much it's going to cost me to upgrade these, uh, sickles again, but I might as well, uh, give them a bit of a boosty boost. Ah. I've been working on some intriguing new designs. Oh, go we need aether glass. And take the fight to the behemoths. I think I also have the ability to make a, a clan for this game, a guild. So, I will figure that out probably within the next 24 hours. So if people, like, really want to group up for this game and get a get a guild together, then I'm more than willing to, um, to figure out how to manage that. I think this mission might be bugs, because there is no indication on what's going on here. What's this? Sylcor. Nasher. What does this even give us? Chroma dust? We found some chroma dust. Awesome. 
I don't know what Chroma Dust does. I don't know how many of these things there are either. Oh, hi. Nasha Trace, Aether Glass, and Nasha Trace. And Slayer Pack. Oh! Is this where all my uh, cool equipment is? Because I got some healing potions, Dauntless. Uh, so that's a flare, some resources, heal over time. Bunch of just consumables, so they're not that helpful. I was wondering where this stuff was going to be. Alright, so we have Transmogrification, a Guild Charter. That's how we get it. Founder Flare, Founder Banner, Chroma Chorus. There's too much to do, but yeah, it looks like whatever group hunt that I'm supposed to be on, I think it busted. And no course. Awesome. Well, I'm going to, uh... I guess I'm going to go sign up. I mean, do I touch? Here, I'm just going to do find hunt. Only the party leader. Okay. Well, let's just quit out to the main menu, seeing as that party is busted. Oh. Let's hope, hope this quits the party. I actually don't know how to leave parties here. And if I can't get a group, I can't get a group, and we'll just fight a Shrike uh, next time. I mean, that's okay, too. I thought I was supposed to get, like, uh, some Founder's equipment. Damn it, I'm still in the same party. Uh, so that's inventory. Is there a button? Options. Can I check controls? Graphic settings. No. Oh, tab. Here we go. Okay, P for party. There we go. Alright. I'm gonna try that one more time and then we go fight a Shrike. Yeah, it looks like whomever the uh, party leader was managed to bug it, so we're not ac I wasn't actually on a hunt. He was just standing around. Oh. Well, I think we found our hunt, because I can't move anymore. <laughs> Smooth. So it's tab to see all of this stuff, by the way. Yeah, so I'll figure out a I'll fill, figure out a guild tonight. Uh, if people do feel like uh, joining the henchbots hunting party, I don't know. And then we can then I can play with people. I'll probably be streaming this later, assuming that I have time for it. I should have time for it. I feel like I should make a requirement that, like, to play with me, you have to have the biggest, ugliest man you can possibly make. But I guess we're all going to be wearing some, like, fancy-ass armor as we go along anyway, so, like, who cares? Okay, so this is the, uh... This is the... The chain sickle, chain whip, chain whatever you want to call it. And honestly, I can do farming else, else time, so I'm just going to uh, look for the thing. I guess we'll go for metal if I can grab it. I mean, it seems like most of the resources that I need, uh, the glass is found from killing monsters themselves. Let's see. I wonder what happens if I just fall off. Now, it does look like the islands are more procedurally generated than I was expecting. Uh, originally, I was assuming that the island was... Uh, I, I was originally just assuming that the island was the same every single time, but it looks like they do actually either have variations or random generation, which is good, because it would suck if it was the same thing over and over and over again. Though I do hope they add some, like, cool environment features and a couple other things. I don't know. One thing I'm looking forward to in World, uh, Monster Hunter World, I think they made it so gathering was, like, much faster, which is good. I mean, grinding is kind of an important thing for, for the, like, Monster Hunter games, but at the same time, I don't know, streamlining for speed is an appreciable thing. Oh. Did he actually spot it? Yeah, there it is. Come on, bad mom. 
Stop it with that goat. Interesting. This is a, a tawny one, though. Oh, what was that? Huh. I don't remember that. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, I don't know how to do charge attacks and stuff, but that's okay. Oh, I'm liking this. This is so much faster. Yeah, it feels like the, uh, it feels like the, ch the, uh, chain whips are going to be my, uh, they're going to be my jam. Ow. Owie. Actually, tab. Push, pull. Oh, pull. So I, I can pull critters in. That's good to know. Holy shit. Oh, wait, no, no. You can't see ribs. I was worried for a second that we, you could see, like, ribs through there. I was like, that's gruesome. I'm a little bit worried that we're... Oh, that's how pull works. That's awesome. So different weapons have uh, different effects. So for, I look at how pretty... We have... Uh, with the chain whips, I can pull myself to my enemies and bring them around. That's nice, so that there's like some level of differences. Hopefully different weapons have different uh, like sub-effects and stuff. This sucker hasn't even pulled out its... Uh, it's wings yet. Is that a push? Oh. Push from close up. Pull from elsewhere. Ah. Owie. I'll have to figure out how to... I'll have to figure out how to use the chain whips more effectively. I'll also have to figure out how to craft. Okay. So after a certain point, the monster will run away. Luckily, you get to see it flying off. Uh, hopefully they actually let you, like, tag monsters. For convenience sake-ish? Well, I've taken some hits. Yeah, I'll have to worry about dodging more often. I'm not actually sure if it makes that much of a difference. Yeah, he does that. He's got he's got some uh, other tricks that we haven't even seen. But yeah, at some point he I feel like he breaks out the wings a little bit more. That's the stuff. Though he's hurting. So I don't know, we might be done with this fight a lot faster than I was expecting. Which is okay by me. Nope. Ah, still took a hit on that one. Yeah, I don't mind uh, taking hits. But I should probably back off after a certain point. There he goes! And he's done. I still don't know what that leaf thing is. Well, can I gather this while we're here? Awesome. I don't actually know if I'm gathering this stuff properly, but uh, I'll do it just because. I mean, it looks like I gathered it. I don't know. Anyway! Uh, looks like it kind of... Oh, yep, yeah, Doom's Z the one. I mean, I don't, I don't really care about standings here. My rank B. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that was fast though, and that is a little bit gruesome. It looks like there's some kind of visual bugs as this goes. Well, we got a rare style core, common aether core. I don't know. I'll just rank it, rank it five. Maybe positivity will give me rare rewards. Oh, brown knows my way to victory if I need to. Interesting, if you click off, it might take it away. Oh. <laughs> kind of had that, like, end game screen, and I was like, I can... Can I run around here? It's like in Fortnite when you had the... When we found out that you could bounce pad people off of the victory screen. That was good shit. Okay, breaking behemoth course. Slayers survive by harnessing the power of behemoths themselves. Defeated behemoths leave behind behemoths cores that slayers collect after battle. These cores can be opened at a core breaker station in Ramsgate to unlock powerful crafting materials. You currently have a behemoth core from the last behemoth you defeated. Head to the core breaker to see what you earned. Once you've opened your core, you'll have the items you need to craft new, stronger weapons, and armor and gear. Don't forget to check the city for quests and review your journal by pressing J or back on the gamepad in case you don't know what to do next. Forge your legends with friends, so social menu with O. Oh, yeah, later. Alright, let's go break this thing open, and then probably call it a day. 
Oh, leave the party. You think it would automatically just give you the boot? Can I, like, just kick these guys? Well, uh, looks like the party system is a bit broken. Hopefully if I log out for a certain amount of time, it will solve the problem. Anyway, so what did we get? So we got dinner time, a banner sigil, a, uh, a flare. Interesting, so we get it, we get different flares. Dinner time and a square shield with buttons and fringe. Is that like, oh, it's banner fabric, gotcha. So it looks like there's a lot of cool cosmetic stuff that we're going to be getting along the way. And we also get a Shrike Sigil Fragment. And then the... Then the other thing... Okay, so we get Shrike Trace, Aether Glass, more Shrike Trace. And no course. Can't open up, no, no more course. Ah, and I'm out of the party. Awesome, so that's solved. I guess... Yeah, I think this is a good good stopping point. So this game is fun. Uh, obviously, it needs a lot more work before it's like really ready for people. But honestly, if you're looking for a good uh, monster hunter like to tide you over, especially one on you know a modern platform that isn't handheld, uh, then Dauntless is probably worth looking at. It's a little bit pricey right now. I think you can pick up a founder's pack for like 80, 90 bucks, which is pricey. But uh, it'll be going into. I'm, I don't know if it's going free to play. I, I know it's uh, going to be become cheaper to get into over the next couple of months, but I'm no spokesperson for this game. They haven't sent me any kind of info. So I'm, I'm just a guy that's going to be playing this game and having fun with it, and I think that's good enough. So, if you guys like this episode in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more Dauntless, hit subscribe, because I'm going to be hunting everything that I can possibly hunt. And I, I want to look like Blitzer here. Okay, I don't want to look like Blitzer here. He, he needs, like... A face mask or something. There's just there's just something about his face. This man. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I don't want to look like Blitzer. I'll just I'll just look like the indomitable chin, and we'll go with that. So anyway, I guess with that, I will see you guys next time. And as always, thanks for watching.